Hello. In this video, we'll be showing you how to install Visual Studio 2008 and get the Crestron Simple Sharp Pro and Sh Simple Sharp plugins running to get your first Hello World program working. First, you'll download the ISO provided within the description below. There's two of them. One is the ISO for the 90-day trial. The next is Service Pack 1. So we're going to start the ISO for the disk. We're going to run the auto run, and it's going to install Visual Studio 2008. Now Visual Studio 2008 is an older version, but it is the version that's required to compile Simple Sharp libraries and Simple Sharp Pro programs for the Crestron processors. It's also required that it's the 2008 Pro version, not just Visual Studio 2008 Essentials or Basic. Um, the easiest way to obtain this is either through this 90-day trial or with an MSDN license. We're going to click Next through the wizard and run through, accept the agreement, and let it start installing. The default installation works fine. Okay, so Visual Studio finished installing. We're going to click Finish. We're then going to exit the installer. We're going to open up the installer for Service Pack 1. There it is. going to go through the installer here and let it start installing. Okay, so Visual Studio Service Pack 1 finished installing. We'll now click finish and at this point we have a choice. We can either install the remainder of the Crestron software via master installer or we can install it manually. I'm going to go ahead and install it manually because I have the downloads available. It's not there. Uh, those downloads are um, you'll need Simple Sharp or you'll need the Simple Sharp Pro plugin. You'll need Crestron database. You'll need Toolbox, and you'll need the device database. I'm going to start with Crestron database. We're going to walk through the installer. Crestron database finished installing. Now we're going to install the device database. And finally, we're going to install Toolbox. Toolbox finished installing. Now, the last thing we need to do before we can run our Hello World program is to install the Simple Sharp Pro plugin. We'll continue with the installation. Set the agreement and we install. The simple sharp plugin finished installing, so now we can click finish. We can close our Windows Explorer windows, and we can run Visual Studio. It's going to ask you the application default for your environment. You can click C Sharp. I like that because it creates a large code editor. And we click Start Visual Studio. So that opens up the editor window. We can close the start page and create a new project. We're going to click on Crestron, and we're going to click on Simple Sharp Pro. This will create a program that runs in one of the ten slots on a Crestron processor. We're going to name it Hello World, and click OK. Now this then creates this then creates the file for us with a bunch of sample code. What we're looking for 
is a line that says thread dot max number of user threads. After this line, we're going to type in Crestron console dot print line hello world or line two save. We're going to build and we're going to build our solution. Our build succeeded. So what that did was it created a file. If we go look for it, we're going to go to Documents, Visual Studio 2008, Projects. There's our Hello World project. And inside, there's a bin folder. Inside that bin folder, you're going to have a CPZ file. Ours is called Hello World.CPZ. That is the executable that you want to load up to the control system. So what we're going to do, make this fit to the side, we'll open up another Windows Explorer, we're going to connect via FTP to the control system. But we're going to type FTP colon slash slash and then the IP address for our processor. In my case mine is 192.168.16.229. And this is our this is the file structure, the FTP folder structure for the processor. I'm going to go into program one. I'm going to drag in my CPZ file and copy it to the processor. So far so good. I'm now going to go open Toolbox. We can click yes. Let's make this large. I'm going to connect to the processor now. So now I'm connected to my processor. I'm going to type prog load p colon one. This is going to load a CPZ file that's in program slot 1 in that folder. I hit enter and it's unzipping. And you can see right here it says hello world. That's our program. We're going to look for hello world with a space and an exclamation point. It should start down here in a second. Right there. Hello world. That is our program command running from inside our newly compiled Simple Sharp Pro program. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you like these, let me know. I'll keep making them. Thanks.